Spooky Stories. Dear fellows, today I'm going to tell you a very scary and terrible story about how one girl was afraid of doctors and the awful things that happened to her one day. Late, late one night, Seema prepared some dinner to her toys. From modeling clay, she made black, black cutlets. She also made them some cream of wheat porridge. She sat her dolls and began to treat them. A piece for Grandma, a piece for Grandpa, one for Mommy, and so on. In short, Seema had fed all the dolls her cooking, and at the same time, she ate herself too. Then it was night. Seema laid in her bed, but she could not sleep. Seema's stomach was gurgling like a swamp. She should have told her mother as soon as possible, but Seema was afraid that if she did, her mom would immediately call the doctor, and that would just be terrible. It was better to suffer. My stomach will be stronger for aches. Suddenly, Seema heard someone very close, breathing hard. Seema got on the bed and tried to see who was there crying in the closet. It seemed no one was there. Only the porcelain doll, Luisa, sat in the corner. And then, in the moonlight, Seema noticed that Luisa's big glass eyes were overflowing with tears. Suddenly, someone moaned softly under Seema's bed. Seema looked, and there, the teddy bear was lying and squealing. Oh, my tummy, my tummy. And immediately, from all sides, her toys began to moan. Simoshka, call an ambulance. Our stomachs are aching from your porridge and cutlets. Seema trembled all over. What do you mean, ambulance? Doctors, this is the most terrible thing in the world. If the awful doctor comes because of an emergency, he'll immediately prescribe us all a terrible and bitter medicine. He will make you all show your tongues and without mercy, he will shove a spoon in your mouth. And those who cry and resist, the doctor will grab and take them away into the hospital. But apparently, the toys didn't care with whom or where they would go. Oh, our bellies hurt. They were crying and wouldn't quiet down. And now, Seema's stomach was so twisted that before her eyes, there were pink and blue stripes, some orange spots, and tons of green clouds. Also, there were pink dragons eating donuts while flying around in the green clouds. Seema only had time to think, look at all the donuts the dragons have eaten. And then she flew somewhere else. A long time or a short time after, Seema finally woke up. Then she touched her stomach. It didn't seem to hurt. Seema opened her eyes and didn't quite know how she ended up in a strange room with white walls. With nothing to do, Seema hit the shiny button. Then bam, the door opened and the snow maiden came in, all clean, white, and smiling. Well, now she's going to wish me a happy new year, thought Seema. But the snow maiden was not at all the snow maiden. She was a doctor. And she didn't give Seema bitter medicine at all. She just patted her on the head, touched her tummy, and told Seema. It would be better to eat oranges, not awful inventions of clay. If you hadn't eaten all this stuff, you wouldn't have been rushed to the hospital today. Well, this hospital isn't that unpleasant, thought Seema. 
the lady doctor isn't scary at all. Next time, don't be afraid of her and just tell her what is wrong. That is right. No need to fear a doctor, but a cook. Listen to me. Some of them cook without even reading a book. I'm going to tell you now a very scary and spooky tale. Listen. This little girl was very afraid of animals of all kinds. Not all the time only when she was looking at them. Once upon a time, when the night was dark and cold, abruptly, <gasps> the sun came out and the girl decided to go for a walk. <gasps> Suddenly, she saw in front of her the biggest and fiercest animal of all, a mouse. The girl got frightened and started to scream loudly. But of course, it had zero effect on the fierce beast, the mouse. What could she do? Nothing at all. Only to climb up the tree. The mouse under the tree opened its tiny mouth with its huge teeth and started laughing viciously. It is a rare thing to see a mouse laugh. When people are scared, the mice see them and start laughing. And seeing this horror is really terrifying. But then it got even scarier. <gasps> Suddenly, out of nowhere, scary animal number two appeared. A predatory kitty cat. So then, if that predatory kitty cat can't eat up that fierce beast, the mouse, to eat up a little girl would be a piece of cake for sure. The fierce beast, the mouse, started squeaking in horror, so it climbed up the tree. The girl climbed away from the mouse, and the cat under the tree looked up at them, laughing in a deep voice. <laughs> then a terrible thing happened. The most scariest monster came up to them. A dog of a vicious breed, a lap dog. The cat climbed away from the dog, the mouse climbed away from the cat, and the girl climbed away from them all. The lap dog laughed so frantically that everyone got goosebumps. But the dog didn't laugh for too long because the lion showed up. Actually, the dogs do not know how to climb up trees. But when a lion shows up, they learn real fast. The dog climbed away from the lion. The cat climbed away from the dog. The mouse climbed away from the cat. And the girl climbed away, frightened. Then the lion started laughing and horsing around. The lion is the king of the jungle, but there are bigger animals. They're stronger, and they're even scarier. The elephant came, and the elephant started laughing. And when laughter comes out of an elephant's trunk, that's it. You will get chills up your spine. It's really so much scarier. The lion climbed up away from the elephant. Then up went the dog, then the cat, then the mouse, and the girl went up to the treetop. The girl climbed up thinking, why is the whole zoo following me? Just when she thought she would never see the end of her troubles, she saw the end of the tree. And the girl would have fallen all the way down from the treetop if that day the animal rights activists did not launch balloons celebrating Animal Rights Day. The girl got lucky and caught one of the balloons. But the mouse did not. It couldn't grab a balloon and fell down on the elephant. But it turned out that elephants, even though they're the big animals, they fear other animals too. Turns out that big elephants are afraid of small mice, just like little girls. And the circle of lice started to go around and around. And the animals forgot all about the girl, like she wasn't even there. They were busy running in circles, scared of each other. The girl looked at all the animals and thought to herself, why did I even run away from them? That's when the girl's father came home. Her father really loved animals. 
So he put the whole animal kingdom back in order. That's what I'm telling you. You have to love animals and protect them. Don't be afraid of them. And when you try, if you're still afraid of them, ask those who come to rescue you. Like your father. Because climbing up your father is more interesting and safer than climbing up trees. So, so, so. Where could all of the cartoons be hiding? Hmm. Let's start an investigation. Ah! One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's look for cartoons to pick. I will press this microphone. Masha and the bear, let's go. That's how easy it is. 